welcome back to Linda's Prepper Kitchen. Today we're going to talk about potatoes. I'm going to show you today how to dehydrate potatoes that you might have on hand that just might not be um, in the best shape. Potatoes like these. All right, so let me turn you down here and show you what I'm talking about and let's get into dehydrating some whole potatoes. So here lately I've been showing you a lot on, on dehydrating um, vegetables that you can buy in the um, freezer section at, at your grocery store. Well today I want to show you how to um, dehydrate vegetables straight out of the garden or from the store. Um, even ones that might be on their last leg and about uh, ready to be tossed out. Um, instead of wasting these, we're going to go ahead and preserve these for years to come. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take these potatoes and I'm going to give them a good peel and then I'll bring you back. Okay guys, as you can see that I've got them peeled, um, cut up. I left a couple so I can show you how I cut them up. I just, I'm going to be using, I'm about to show you what I'm going to be using, um, to chop them up with. It's a Vidalia chop wizard and I, I like to keep them about as thick as I want them because I want these more of a dice kind of like those frozen ones oh, it's not even showing you kind of like those frozen ones that um, that we buy in the bags at Walmart those are just perfect to me I think you could fry those up um, put those in soups all kinds of things so now let me show you what I was talking about this is the Vidalia um, chop wizard pro um, I love this. Um, I, I use it when I do a big batch of onions or bell peppers when I get ready to freeze them. Um, this just makes a big job easy. Now, if you're just going to cut one onion up, no, I don't think I would drag this out. Um, but if you're it, definitely during garden season, this is a essential. Um, I'm going to leave the link to my Amazon account down below. Um, as well as my email and my address. They're all always in the bottom in the description of all my videos. Um, so feel free to use those. It helps me out tremendously when you use my Amazon link. Um, well, I wouldn't say tremendously. I get a very small kickback, but it all adds up. So I appreciate any of y'all that would use that. Um, it is there. So now let me show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to get my wizard out. all right so now all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take and I'm gonna put my potato down in there and chop them up I'll bring you back when I get all the loud noise work done all right there they are all diced up all right so now let's go over to the stove and we're gonna blanch them all right, as you can see, I got a pot of boiling water here. I'm going to take and I'm going to gently pour in my potatoes. And I'm going to blanch these for four minutes. Once they've come to the boil, then you'll start your four-minute timer. I'll bring you back when the four minutes is up. All right, they've been boiling for four minutes. I'm going to take them off um, the stove and I'm going to strain them and we'll carry them over the dehydrator. Alright, as you can see, today I'm going to use my Nesco Food and Jerky Dehydrator. Um, so let me get you set up and we'll get this these potatoes on the... Alright guys, I'm thinking I'm only going to have enough to do maybe about three trays. Because um, those were potatoes that were going bad. So I didn't have like an abundance of them. So you see, we're just going to layer these around on the dehydrating rack. The, the more you put on a rack, the longer it's going to take for things to dry. So if you spread them out and there's plenty of air that can get around them, they're going to dry much faster. And that goes with anything you put on here. You can put as much as you, as you want to as long as that tray fits on there. But just know you're going to be spending that much longer trying to dry it. Alright, so there's the first tray. And y'all, I'm going to let you know to be on the lookout because I am going to... Um, dehydrate these and then I am going to do a then I'm going to do another video showing you how to fry these up or use them up in different ways so be on the lookout for that I hope I'm not giving my secrets out too soon and somebody might beat me to the punch you never know <laughs> no, I'm just kidding but anyway so there we go I got enough for one more tray. After I get it, the other tray filled up, I will bring you back. 
All right, I got them all on there. Now let me get the, the dehydrator lid out and get it put on. Let me raise you up just a little bit. All right. That's what I'm gonna do. Let's see, get you up here a little bit more. As usual, I'm gonna put it on the 135 fruit and vegetable setting. And I'm hoping this is gonna take about eight hours, but I am going to dry it until they are completely dry. Y'all, every dehydrator um, dehydrates at different times. It all depends on how much you put in the tray, what it is you're dehydrating, um, things like that. So for me to give you a definitive time, I'm sorry I can't do that. Um, but yeah, just put it in there until it's completely dry. All right, y'all, I'll bring you back in about eight hours and we'll take a look. All right, so now let's take a look and see how our potatoes look. Looking good. Looking good. These are all hard and crispy. Yes. So these are done, y'all. It did take me about 16 hours. Um, that's when I just checked them. I didn't check them before now, so... Um, it could have been dried sooner, but they are now dry. Like I said, your every dehydrator is different on the amount of time it takes. So, all right, so let's see how many, um, how much you give me. Let me get them into a jar. Well, there it is. There's how much I got. I got just a little under a quart. Um, these, I'm um, typically you would put a oxygen absorber in these, um, put a lid on it, and they would be good for ten plus years. Or you could put your uh, vacuum sealer attachment to it, suck the air out, and again, that'd be good for 10 plus years. But I do have plans for these on an upcoming video for y'all, so stay tuned. And uh, yeah, we'll see how these come back and, and what we can make out of them. All right, y'all, please give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to ring the bell, y'all. Um, leave your tips and tricks down below. Um, this is a sharing, caring community, and y'all keep on keeping on, and I will see you next time back at Linda's Prepper Kitchen. Bye, everyone.